Oh, what's this taxi doing? God. I thought he was going to reverse straight into me then. And that car almost reversed straight out in front of me. Oh, have you? Oh, thank you very much. You didn't have to do that. Oh, no, I really appreciate that. Oi, you bad. Oi. I'll tell you, you see them all at night. All the strange ones, all the odd ones. Hey mate, how's it going? All right? Yeah, not bad. I got Emma B. Anyway, thanks for that, mate. Yeah, and you, mate. <laughs> how's it going, guys? And welcome back to a brand new video. So I've uh, received my first delivery before I could even get a uh, intro started. So we're on delivery number one, which is Asda. So I've just picked up from Asda. 10 items. Apparently, this is what one of the workers said at Asda, this delivery has been waiting for over an hour and I've only got to go 0.5 miles to drop it off, which is crazy. Obviously, all the other delivery drivers or delivery drivers in the area didn't want to pick it up. So yeah, I'm going to now have to apologize to the customer for how long it's taken for this delivery to be dropped off, even though it's not my fault. But it is what it is. Hello, oh, delivery. How's it going? All right. Yeah, not too bad. I have to apologise for how long this has taken to. I just got the answer and they said you... it's been waiting there for about an hour. Oh, really? There you go. That's great. That's that one. And there's that one. Brilliant. Cheers. Brilliant. You have a good rest of your evening. Thank you. Bye. All right, that's delivery number one done. Delivery number two has just come through. And it's a McDonald's. So I will meet you guys over there. Well, I hope you guys have had a good weekend. My weekend has been very, very busy. I spent most of it up in Wales, exploring abandoned buildings. Now, just in case you didn't know, my hobby outside of work is exploring abandoned places. Oh, what's this taxi doing? God, I thought he was gonna reverse straight into me then. So yeah, in case you guys didn't know, I have a very strange hobby, which is exploring abandoned places. Now I go to these places, I film inside, and I upload it to YouTube. And that goes onto my main channel, which is called Abandoned Explorer. I've got a fair number of subscribers on that channel as well. Just over 250,000. Now, hopefully one day this channel will be up at that number. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. But yeah, so if you are interested in abandoned places, then yeah, go check it out. There might be something on there that you might find interesting. So today is Monday. It is very, very cold. And it is just coming up to half four in the afternoon. been online for about half an hour and I'm on my second delivery now so that's not too bad doesn't seem to be a lot of drivers out either right guys so we've picked up delivery number two I had to wait a little while but that's just the way it is now I've got used to it but we are now heading to our second drop-off, which is 1.1 miles away. It's telling me that it's going to take me about five minutes. Which isn't too bad. It is bitter. It is cold. I really need to invest in some long johns. I'm going to have to go to Sports Direct. Apparently they do some good ones in there. My legs are freezing. My upper body's alright, I've got a thick jumper on and a decent coat and some gloves. 
and I've also got a hat on today as well. I'm hoping today's going to be busier than the last video that I uploaded for you guys. If you guys remember in the last video, I, um, I had a target of about £40. And in about two hours, I was only on like 12 quid, if I can remember correctly. So uh, yeah, I did not achieve that challenge. It was quite terrible actually, probably one of the worst days I've had on Uber. And that car almost reversed straight out in front of me. You've really got to keep your wits about you when you're doing this job. Like you could be really careful when it's other people. I mean, if you're not watching what other people are doing, you could be in a bit of trouble. That's twice today that somebody's almost reversed into me. That taxi driver earlier on, who in the middle of the road just decided to, yeah, I'm just gonna reverse back. And that person who's just pulled out of their drive. <laughs> yeah, well, we're still alive. Evening, buddy. Hi, How's it going? Yeah, just stand there for you, buddy. You. Yeah, you have a good rest of your evening. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Thank you. And there we go. <laughs> delivery number two completed. Now straight on to delivery number three. That's the second one dropped off. We have received delivery number three. Straight back to McDonald's. Starting to look like it could be a good shift today. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of drivers out either. I've seen four, I've seen four, which uh, if it stays like that, then yeah, it should be a good evening. You're as cold as ice. Yes, I'm willing to sacrifice. It is cold as ice. Yes, I'm willing to sacrifice. So just picked up delivery number three. That was pretty quick actually. The food was ready before I got there. So I was just literally just walking into the restaurant, picking it up and coming back out again, which is all good. I wish it was like that on every single pickup, but you can't ask for everything in this world, can you? But anyway, we've got a real short one. We've got a one mile cycle to drop off this uh, delivery. Hiya, delivery. Hiya. Right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Right, let's go. Right, I don't know what's wrong with me today. I think that's the second time I forgot to uh, connect my wireless speaker into the GoPro. So I've been chatting to you guys, but obviously there's no sound going through to the GoPro. <laughs> oh my God, what's wrong with me today? What I was saying was, I'm going to have to do it all again. What I was saying was, I've just dropped off delivery number three. And delivery number four has just come through. Maybe these long days are starting to get to me. I mean, working eight hours on my main shift and then coming out and doing Uber. Maybe I need a rest. <laughs> I don't know. I'll rest at Christmas. That's what, that's what I say. Christmas is coming up, I'll rest then. How's it going, all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah not bad, you? Yeah, it's a bit little bit, have you just come out, have you? No, uh, second job. Second job? Yeah, I'll be now. Fourth one now, this evening. Well, I'll get this one dropped off, I'll see you in a bit, mate. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Delivery number four. Finally picked up. That was a long wait. 0 0.5 miles to drop off this order, which according to this is only gonna take me one minute. We'll see. Let's see if I can beat that. Oh, 
Go, buddy. Yeah, not too bad yourself. There's your food. Uh, there's your drinks. Cheers. Lovely. You have a good rest of your evening, mate. Thank you. Right, so we've just received delivery number five, which is an Asda again. Doesn't look like a big order, which is good. So I can save my back for another delivery. If you guys are enjoying this video today, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new, hit that subscribe button because we have a lot of Uber Eats content coming very, very soon. If any of you guys know what lights to uh, recommend for my bike, something really bright so you guys can see exactly where I'm going instead of me going to some dark places, I'm not seeing anything. Leave a comment down below. Who's that? Uh, Rachel? That voice just come out of nowhere. <laughs> I heard a voice, but I couldn't see where it was coming from. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Has it been busy on the Uber today for you guys? Quite busy. Has it? Yeah. Right, let's go. We now have to travel 1.6 miles to drop this one off. Also, this delivery requires a pin once I've delivered it which is a new feature that Uber has just released. I've got to admit though, when it first came out, I was dropping deliveries off to people, forgetting to ask them for their pin. I'd get like halfway down the road and just realise I needed the pin to uh, say that I've delivered the delivery. So then, yeah, I'd have to go back to the customer and ask for the pin. It's quite embarrassing. Oh, I don't go do I go through town or do I take the main road? I think I'm going to go through town. Right, so this week I have Thursday and Friday off from my main job. And what I plan to do is to do two full day shifts. So I'm going to start from about eight o'clock in the morning to about eight o'clock at night. And just see how much money I can make doing a full shift. It's been a long time since I've done a full shift. But it's going to be quite interesting for me and for you guys as well. Just to see how much money I can make in a full day delivering. So yeah, I've got that to uh, come this week, which I'm quite excited about. Oh, it's such a very cold day. So yeah, guys, I am getting close to hitting 100 subscribers on this channel. And I'm just thinking, what can I do for a 100 subscriber special? Do you think I should do a 24-hour Uber Eats challenge? What do you think? Leave a comment down below if you, th you would be interested in seeing a 24-hour Uber challenge. I mean, that would be hell of a challenge. And I know at the end of it, I will be shattered. But... It might be very entertaining for you guys and quite entertaining for me as well. Have I gone the wrong way? What have I come down the street for? What am I doing? I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Oi, you better slow down. Oi! Hey, you need to slow down, you. I tell you, you see them all at night. All the strange ones, all the odd ones. You need to slow down, you. <laughs> okay, I was going about 10 miles an hour. If you think that's me going fast, then uh, you should see me when I'm bolting around at 30 miles an hour. <laughs> Evening, how's it going, all right? Yeah, not too bad, thank you. Oh, I'll try, mate. <laughs> um, oh, have you? Oh, thank you very much. You didn't have to do that. Oh, no, I really appreciate that. That's it. Um, I, I need a pin. That's brilliant. Thank you very much. And thank you for the tip. No, you have a good rest of your evening. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. I mean, I don't expect people to tip. I really don't. But when they do, it's, yeah, it's really nice. And I got called a superstar as well. Even better, eh? <laughs> Right, I am cycling back the way. I saw that lady who just shouted at me. 
I'm going to see if I can avoid it because I don't really want to be shouted at again. So yeah, delivery number five has been dropped off. I'm now waiting for delivery number six to come through. I don't know how much longer I'm going to stay out because it is Baltic out here today. I need to prepare myself a little bit better for these uh, cold evenings and cold nights. So I will be getting some thermals soon for the next time I come out. I'll probably get some before Thursday and Friday when I do my all day shifts. Also, another idea I've got for the channel is you people who watch my videos, leave a comment down below on where you would like to see me do some deliveries. Like it could be anywhere in the UK. If you want to see me deliver somewhere, leave a comment. And whatever location gets the most comments, I will go to that location and do some, uh, yeah, do some deliveries around that town, city, or wherever it is, village. So if you think that's a good idea, yeah, let me know. Right then, guys, I'm gonna to end today's shift here. It's been an okay evening. I've done five trips and I've made £22.24. I mean, that's not too bad. How long have I been out for? What is the time now? I come out about four o'clock. It's now seven o'clock. So in three hours, I've made £22. I mean, it's not amazing. Compared to most jobs, that's pretty poor. But Thursday this week, I'm going to be doing a full shift. So from like eight o'clock in the morning to about eight o'clock in the evening. Then we'll really see just how much you can earn on Uber Eats on a full day. I might be doing that again for Friday, the next day. We'll see how it goes. But today, yeah, it's a bit of a quick shift. We've done five trips, £22.24, like I said. Not too bad. I've enjoyed it, but it has been very, very cold. As you can see, I've got my hat on, got my gloves on. Winter is approaching us quite quick now. All I need to get now is some uh, thermals. Get some thermals and then, yeah, I'll be quite uh, crusty cycling around in the cold. I'll be all right. But anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you've enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy. Peace.